After a long year now off stage, local bands are returning to the spotlight. Some music festivals are still canceled or postponed, but at the same time, other opportunities are popping up, and they're helping put local musicians in front of larger audiences. Our Leah Bino talked to some industry insiders about the bands taking the stage this summer and why we might not hear from other fan favorites until later this year. After a year of missing playing to packed crowds, I can count it on one hand how many gigs we played. They were all outdoors. Two band members from Minneapolis based Kiss the Tiger are starting to see their summer calendar rival 2019 with three to four gigs per month. We're selling tickets like crazy, which is, I mean, I feel I want to um, value what we do and say people would be buying tickets any, anyway, but I think also people are really excited to yeah. come out and see some live music. With restrictions in Minnesota lifting so suddenly, Ashley Ryan with First Avenue calls this the summer of the local artists, in large part because national bands touring the country still for the most part won't be able to stop in the Twin Cities until after August. We and the entire sort of music industry has been focused on the fall, the winter, even next spring. manager of Trampled by Turtles points out while there may be some room for additions, their coast to coast tour is set and doesn't allow for a return home to Minnesota until September. The competition for venue real estate for space was is just crazy because everyone is just looking to get back on the road. So, you know, it's just it's very busy out there. It's going to be very busy once people get the road. At the arena level, a spokesperson for Target Center agrees. With states reopening and lifting restrictions at different times, it still takes national and global tours months to launch or relaunch tours. As of today, Target Center won't host its first major concert until September 25th. One exception on the local arena calendar is Def Leppard and Motley Crue at U.S. Bank Stadium in early July, which is rescheduled from last summer. Hey, check, 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 check. But for Kiss the Tiger, about to drop a new album and a new resident gig at Ice House next month, this summer is shaping up to be everything they've been missing. I did not imagine playing music this summer already. Leah Bino, Fox 9.